Welcome to the Weird and Witchy Shit podcast. I'm Christy, your basic witch guide, here to make the mystical a little bit more approachable. In today's divination lesson, we continue our fool's journey through the wands, and today we face some conflict with the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands depicts five men with five wands in hand, unable to get their shit together. Tale as old as time, right? Often this card is seen as five men battling each other and using their wands as weapons, which it can definitely be interpreted that way. Personally, I tend to interpret it more that the five men have came together with their wands to create something, to build something together, but they just can't seem to get their like energies and egos aligned so that they can work together. It's like the wands are all over the place, they're all in different directions, they're all in different positions, none of the guys are even looking in the same direction or at each other. It's like they've came together for this collaboration but they're not collaborating. They're still just kind of like doing their own thing and expecting miracles to happen. We've already established in previous episodes that the wands are the element of fire and fire represents our passion, our drive, our creativity, our energy, kind of like our personal power and our ego. And we also spoke about way back in the Ace of Wands that all of this energy was handed to us at the very beginning of our creation. This is something that we're all born with and it's something that's very individual and unique to each person. So these individual people all have their individual wands that represents their individual fire, you know, their yang energy, their drive, their passion, their power, blah, blah, blah. And they're all coming together, but they're not seeing past their own fire. They each have their own ego, their own way of being, their own way of doing and creating. And they're just kind of not really giving a fuck that the other four people that they're working with also have their own individual wand energy as well they're just kind of they're not really thinking beyond themselves really they could communicate and compromise with each other and channel all of this fire energy into like a really amazing collaborative effort that could be something really powerful however in this card their ego just won't allow them to do that meaning that chaos ensues and nobody gets anywhere. Ensues, is that a word? I'm not sure I've ever said that word before in my life or it just felt wrong in my mouth. You know, like you hear a word all the time or maybe you've even said it before and then one time you just say it and you're like, what the fuck is that word? Ensues? Ens- Am I saying it wrong? I don't know. <laughs> So the Five of Wands, unsurprisingly, means that there is conflict of some sort. Often this conflict will be ego-driven, kind of like those times where you're butting heads with someone and you can't really see anything from each other's perspective or you're just kind of like unwilling to even try to see something from any perspective that's not your own perspective. Often this card would represent a lot of tension or anger that kind of has like that fiery aspect to it. Um, There might be some jealousy involved or some sort of competition between people. I usually see this card as having the energy of my way is right, I know best, I don't want your help, I don't want to listen to other ways of being and other ways of doing, it's my way or the highway, this is how I want to do it. And with this card showing up, it would kind of mean that like two or more people, maybe like a group of people, all have this kind of same idea going on. 
when in reality probably everyone involved would be a lot happier and a lot less stressed and actually be able to move forward in a more productive way if everyone kind of opened themselves up to other people's perspectives. If the five of wands comes up for you in a reading and this kind of energy resonates with you, it's probably a sign to try and reach some sort of mutually beneficial agreement. Although this doesn't always have to be like an external agreement, oftentimes with this card it is because it's like a lot to do with like other people involved, but sometimes the person that you are conflict that you have like a conflict with really is just an arsehole and they're not going to see things from your point of view at all so you kind of have to like settle that conflict internally I actually recently had a moment like this myself and I always like kind of like real life examples because it brings the tarot more to life so that you can see one of the like many many ways that it could play out in um, a, a real life scenario rather than it just being pictures on a card or these kind of like abstract concepts. So this happened when someone in my life was recently very very horrible to me over, I honestly wouldn't even say that it was a disagreement that we had, they kind of just, it, it was a disagreement because our like points of view were incredibly different and theirs was like very like ignorant very kind of cruel they didn't really know exactly what they were talking about and they were just being incredibly small-minded I mean maybe that's just my opinion and my ego talking but whatever this is my podcast and on this podcast we are a dictatorship here not a democracy so let's just call a cunt a cunt this person was being a fucking arsehole things between us got like a little bit heated and we just weren't seeing like eye to eye on this situation and I'm not gonna lie like after it I was like fucking seething like you know that way for even like days and days and days afterwards that like I was still thinking about this interaction that I had and still winning fake arguments in my head and still thinking about how I could possibly get my point across to this person so that they could see what an arsehole they were and so that they could like come groveling and know how bad they'd made me feel and realise how terrible their opinion is and like how they should apologise to me and how I don't deserve to be treated like this blah 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 we've all been in this situation right and that kind of conflict that happened externally and internally for me was my five of wands moment. And the only way to overcome that and not keep myself kind of like stuck in the chaos of that moment was to just accept that as much as I hate it, this person doesn't owe me anything and I am not entitled to force this person to change their opinion just like I do. This person has their ways of thinking, this person has their ego. I will probably never understand their point of view but they will also probably never understand my point of view and even if they were to ever understand my point of view, me like kind of like forcing the point and just continuously like telling them you're wrong you're wrong this is how you should think does anybody ever listen to anyone when they're doing that no come on so basically I just had to just let it go and realize that we were both dealing with our own opinions thoughts egos ways of thinking and we would just continue to butt heads and I could like keep going over and over and over that or I could just accept this fact and let it go. And yeah, it's not like a fucking revolutionary epiphany or anything that I had there, but it's still kind of like the core of this card. It's kind of like, they can live their life, I can live mine, and we can both move forward in our lives without this battle. It's kind of like, peace and love, man. I think you're a massive cunt, but 
peace and love. And the day after this disagreement with this person, I actually pulled the Five of Wands card from my daily card pool. So as kind of like abstract and out there as the card interpretations can be, sometimes they're actually just very on the nose. And like my view life example is not by any means like the only interpretation of the Five of Wands. Sometimes you need to just kind of like back down as I did and just kind of accept things as they are but sometimes of course there is situations where everyone involved can kind of like lean into someone else's perspective and you can move forward in a more like productive way maybe to collaborate on something or to kind of like coexist or maybe even like make a lot of peace with each other and just understand each other a lot better. There's many different ways that this card could manifest. In reverse, the Five of Wands might show that you've reached this point of moving forward already after the conflict and differences have been put to the side and a compromise has been agreed on. The reverse Five of Wands could also maybe indicate a more internal conflict, something going on within yourself rather than something involving someone else. Um, Upright, the card can still mean like an internal battle going on. Again, it always like just depends on like the reading, what you're asking, what your interpretation of it is, like many different factors go into kind of determining what it means. But generally... I would view the upright card as an external conflict and the reversed card could suggest an internal conflict going on. In reverse, it could also show this kind of tendency to shy away from conflict. Like maybe there is something that you're desperate to say, but something's holding you back and you don't want to kind of like rock the boat. So you just kind of say nothing and in doing nothing, you are creating that internal conflict within yourself. For instance, say you massively disagree with something um, that's going on in your life and you just don't say anything because you want to keep the peace externally. Internally, that's not going to be so good for you and that's not really keeping the peace because like you are then in conflict with your own values and then this creates this kind of battle within you between wanting to do what's right but not doing it like kind of thing so you are kind of going against yourself whether your intentions for the external might be Your intentions might be good, but you're still going to battle against yourself, if that makes sense. Anyway, that is all I have for today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please leave me a rating. If you're on like Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to podcasts. If you're on YouTube, please like the video and comment because that really, really helps the algorithm and really helps to push these episodes out to more people. Subscribe if you would like to see more and I will see you or hear you or you will actually hear me. I probably won't hear you in the next one. Bye.